Hi, my name is Peter. I'm playing play at West Harbour. I've been playing for over five years now. Uh, my name is Michael Johnson. Um, I'm a former junior coach at the club. Um, been involved for probably the last uh, 10 plus years. Uh, I'm now a major sponsor of the club um, through my business um, and obviously a volunteer uh, to help out on game days and um, whenever, whenever needed basically. I'm also the father of Peter uh, and David who both play at the club um, so I'm also there supporting them and watching their games uh, week in week out. Pepe is um, a very independent um, person, uh, he, like just not just in his football, but in, in, in his work, in his career, uh, and where he wants to go in life. The reason why me and my brother are um, involved in the club now would probably be because of, of my father, who brought us into sport when we were around five, six. We started off playing rugby league and then when I was about probably 11 to 12 made the transition over to play rugby union and then I started at West Juniors which is our junior club and then progressed through West Juniors and when I was 15 I started playing on the 20s for West Harbour and I've continued ever since, five, six years on. I'm still here and I love it, I wouldn't think of anything else to do. My father was a player before. He says he was, but I wasn't born when he, when he was playing, so <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell you. But yeah, I, he, he was a player, but he did play rugby when he was younger. Um, I played when I was younger. Um, I've also been uh, a vice president of uh, another club in a different uh, level, um, which Peter actually was involved with. Um, from a young age, he played his first game at grade football at probably 14, 15 um, at that club um, and ever since then he sort of hasn't looked back, uh, he's just gone upwards and forward. Okay, um, I got coach Peter from, from five years old, he was five years old, uh, for three years um, and ever since then I have been at uh, probably 80% of his games. Um, supporting him, driving him to the games, um, obviously, and any other um, things that happened around the games, whether it's barbecues or football functions, presentations, um, I've been there for all those. That's Peter, that's me. Um, just to prove how how tough I suppose Pete is and how how willing he is to to, to go hard, he popped his shoulder in the semi final of the state championships um, back when he was 16, 17. Um, basically, the shoulder popped out. It went back in. Um, most kids wouldn't even think of taking the field in the grand final, but uh, Pete decided to strap it up and uh, run out and for, for his team and. Um, Tried to play the game, made it, made it, made the first big tackle, and uh, that was it. The shoulder wasn't any good, but it just shows how tough he was to, to go out and, and have a go. Uh, he wasn't going to let it beat him, but um, unfortunately, he can't help some injuries, um, and uh, it did hold him back. But but you know, for his full credit, he was there supporting his team. Um, we're all there to support the same team and Pete, um, and they were unlucky, unlucky to lose the grand final, um, but uh, that's just the way rugby is. This is the way he is. Um, 
But at the end of the day, I've uh, always got his back. So, you know, if he does fall behind or something happens, I'm always there to support. Um, I'd like any father, I suppose. Surgery, so it was in and out on the same day. <laughs> <laughs>